Guys, I want to let you know of some known faults that you can have with the uh, TD5 engine fitted to the Discovery and uh, also the Defender. I'll run through them very quickly and I'll tell you what I found and cured. You can have your wastegate can seize. You can have problems with your airflow meter. Can cause problems. Swing around this side. Obviously various turbo hoses can have problems. EGR valve can stick. You can modify that. You can basically just buy a blank in, take the whole thing out and buy a blank in uh, part. Your map sensor can have problems. Uh, this one actually was a bit gunked up, but wasn't the main problem. I cleaned it all out. And most commonly of all, you can have it swing around this side of the thing. See that little wire as a plug that comes out of the wiring loom? That is your injector plug, because the obviously injectors are all sat in the, in, in the top here. You've got to get the cover off and they can leak. And basically, if you take that plug off, it's only two, two clips either side, put your finger up inside it, and if you've got oil on your, on your hands, you've got to change the loom that's inside there. And obviously the loom, the oil can get back to your airflow meter. And also, under this cover, you've got your battery there. And about here is you've got your ECU. Take that out, make sure there's no oil in there. If there is, you've got to clean that out. That injector's loom has been done. That wasn't the problem. I'd say you would get in a sort of kangarooing effect at 2,500 revs. What it is, and I'll show you this, because some people say you can have problems with these sticking. Now, I've got to get myself in position. Let's make sure you can see it. I've got to push quite hard because now that's working fine because that turbo is not even six months old inside here is a rather big spring that should not be loose and i wouldn't recommend adjusting those because if you start doing that you're going to upset the whole lot once you get the turbo they're factory set and they're fine basically now this is not a vacuum hose it's actually a pressure hose i'll get this out the way let's get that off i've done most of it myself already okay you've got one Back. You've got one little pipe here that goes down to a modulator control valve. It's that little kitty that plays up. And there's a plug there. You've got three hoses. One there, one I've taken off, and one is one underneath. Obviously, this main one goes to your air trunking, which would normally sit here, as you've just seen. The second one that is there, it's not there now, would go up to the uh, turbocharger. And the third one, if we go, if you follow this main outlet that's your inlet that's the outlet it goes underneath under the power steering pump up to the turbo intercooler on the metal part i don't know if you can just about see it there there's another oh, hands all shaking that's the pressure in if you basically you can either change that valve cost about 20 quid or what our local um four by four center have said they've done a lot of these the Defender hasn't got that valve, so what they said is just basically leave the plug on, leave that, that wire in, that, that pipe on to the uh, um, inlet side, and basically disconnect the pipe sort of down here, and join that pipe, so disconnect it there, join that pipe up directly to the turbo, so basically you're bypassing that module, and that's exactly what I've done with this nice big bit of pipe. Since I've done that, I've given it a rotis, as you see, I haven't, I haven't even put it back together again. Our performance has come back to normal and it is now running sweet as a nut and it is driving with such power, it's unbelievable. You won't cause any damage to that because basically it's still doing the same thing. Um, I had some fault codes in the, uh, in the, in the vehicle, but they didn't, bring the, they didn't bring the light on. So what I did, I just cleared them all down. You might not be able to do that, but certainly if you if you do what I've just done there and join that back up, you will find immediately your performance is back to normal. So give it a try. Okay, guys, hope that's helped.